All right, everybody, welcome to The Studying Brew, episode 908. It is a beautiful Monday evening. Oh my goodness, it is the keyword night of the night. Guys, this is where we show you how to get those keywords and the questions and the answers to get the right answer. Guys, it's not about content. We say that all the time, but I don't think people believe us, Brandy. I, I know they don't. Speaking of which, my name is Andy. I'm the guy that runs all the back office over here at Kona Butterflies. Today I flew solo, but you're not here for my solo trips. You're here for Brandy. She's got her Series 6, 63, 26, Series 65, and her Series 7, which makes her more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know so that way you two can get a pass notice. And that's what we want this summer. We want to have a have a hot pass summer, guys. Let's get these pass notices. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Today, I went over some uh, how Kona works and all the ins and outs. Uh, thank you to all the people that showed up. It was fun. Um, and I'm not Brandy. That's what I can say. <laughs> I'm not Brandy. Uh, Brandy's like, did you tell them a story in the beginning? They like stories. Um, make sure you tell them a story. They like that way. Make sure you say happy things at the end and wave to the camera. I forgot that part. I forgot to wave to the camera until it was over. Wave at the camera? You do every time. You're like, bye. See you at Studying Brew. <laughs> uh, I didn't do that part, but you know. Yeah. Um, but I did get some good reviews. I got some people telling me that it was pretty good uh, because it shows all the things that Kona can do for you. Uh, what Kona can do for you. Yeah, that's what I hear. Yeah. Like yeah. UPS, what can Brown do? Yeah. What are we, purple? Anyways. Yes, we are purple. Yeah. So we was good. Uh, it was good. It was good. It was good. So, uh, but I'm glad that Brandy will be back tomorrow. She's going to have the whole thing. Uh, I even told a story about somebody that I used to build the cars for. It was, it was fun. So, but uh, you can catch that replay. It's on Patreon. It's free to everyone to get on there. It's for the public. So if you want to check out what we have to offer, check it out. It's on patreon.com slash Kona Butterflies. Check the links that are going to be in the chat. They're going to be on the screen. Uh, If you're watching this on YouTube, please uh, hit the notification and subscribe and go ahead and get that uh, link over there and check it out. Uh, It does all, it shows all the things that we have. Yes, it does. And how to get on there. And what we have uh, as far as the free, the paid, all the good stuff. So um, thank you all again. All right, let's get this thing going, Brandy. Brandy's fresh hot off of uh, the first amusement park in the United States. Uh, Did you know that Knott's Berry Farm was the very first amusement park of its kind in in the United States, or if not in the world? I didn't know that. Yeah. Not in the world, as we knew from when we were doing the studying techniques. Yeah. There was one in like 14. Yeah. But uh, it, yeah. But it, not in the United States. Do you have any boysenberry? I, you know, I have my boysenberry latte. All right. Well, if you guys want to join us and check it out, like I was just talking about, you know, on the Patreon, uh, scan the QR code, hit the links in the chat, join us on that membership, guys. We got the academy still going. We got the twenty-one day plans, as I showed today on how to get into that twenty-one day plan and how easy it is just to just go through it and uh, get all the other things that we have available: content, tables, charts. Uh, there's all kinds of great stuff on there. Check it out. All the different options. SIE 6, 63, 26, 65. Study guides as well. SIE 6, 63. I explained the study guide today. I'm all, it's just simply the cheat sheet, you know, the, the guide to get you through the material, but it's not the main plan. You got to get on to our membership to get the main plan, but the guide will get you through what to focus on. Kona community, the discord guys, that's where we help you out. It's free to join. And like I said, just scan the QR code, hit the links, 951-290-3077. That's my phone. Give me a call. Give me a text. Uh, check us out on Instagram, Telegram, all the grams. All right. Uh, tomorrow we got the SIE, Kona Academy. Tomorrow we're going to be going over what? All right. We're going to be going over that. Best companies <laughs> and variable annuities. <laughs> oh, oh, this is going to be a long silence. And then we got the six live. We got 63. So check it out. 930 AM Pacific standard time. The party starts and we end around 1 PM. All right, everybody. See you there. Yes. All right, let's do it. Kona catchphrase. This is our, the key words that help you out and get to the right answer. Guys, I said it before. It's not just about the content. Look, I know a lot of people who know the content. I know a lot of people who've read the books, the LEMs. They've gone to countless, you know, what do they call them? Cram, crash, yes. weekend, boot camp, whatever they like to call them. Uh, and they're like, dude, I, it's just, it's a lot. And like, I know, I, I know it. I have gone through the content. I've gone through these like seminars and webinars or whatever they're called. And, uh, in class, whatever, you know, whatever all these people do. 
And and they're like, it just like I mastered that, but I still am not getting that pass notice. Guys, it's all about the questions and how you see it. And you're, are you verifying and looking for those keywords that can help you lead you to those to success? Guys, I was talking to a teacher today and she I was telling her like what we do and stuff. And she said, OK, wait, hold on back up. Right. I said, yeah, like how many times do you when you're studying something, how many times do you not think of what the words mean outside of the vocabulary? Like you're only so focused on these new terms and these new things. And she's like, yeah. And I go, yeah, but it's not always that way. You could literally probably get to a connection without having the securities or whatever topic vocabulary in your arsenal. And that's what we show you guys. Yes. That's what we're trying to show you guys. So tonight we're going to, I'm going to read the answers. We're going to read the question because we read answers first here at Kona because answers lead to reading the questions with intent. You go through it. You look for those, those keywords. You know what you're looking for. Guys, if you look at the answers first, you know what you're looking for in the question. Does that make sense? Like you're keyed in, you're locked in as the kids say, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You got the hood on and you're, lo you're locked in, right? And look, that's what that is the cheat sheet guys that is an easy tactic that you could easily do but a lot of people don't do it because it takes them out of their comfort zone and they just keep doing the same thing over and over again mm -hmm. so tonight we read answers first we look for patterns we look for keywords we look for the simplistic words of the nature of these some of these words that aren't even securities and we go well how does that give us you know what vibe do we get off that right and sometimes it is just the vibe you're like man that's a that's a weird answer i don't know why but it just doesn't sound right to me or that one sounds official right you don't know why guys that's what our gut is all about right we don't know why it just sounds right it just sounds wrong so we're gonna put that in the chat what we think those ones are the opposites the similars all the different patterns put that in the chat play along see how you line up if you're at home write it down on a piece of paper see how you you line up as well all right let's play brandy uh, D, answering the investment banking questions from an accredited event investor. C, reviewing and approving communication with the public. B, determining in a customer's investment suitability. A, taking a trade in a margin account. C has an and. C does have an and. We're all the same page tonight, Eric, says Sally. Oh, that was probably supposed to read that out loud. Yeah, because they were both, they both said. Yeah, I know. And, yes. Yeah, I thought it was fun, though. Yes. Yes. D, long. Um, What else? A, margin account. Okay. Margin account. Look, I do you know what I always see? Like, margin go. account. Credit. Yeah. Suitability. Some suitability. Someone says suitability. Suitability. Okay, but look, look at the INGs. Look at the INGs. There you go. You're guiding them. Yes. Approving. Reviewing. Reviewing. Determining. And. Reviewing and. I said that. Reviewing and approving. You said that, but they didn't. Oh, they didn't say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We are not on the same page, Eric. Look at that, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Look at taking a trade, determining suitability, reviewing and approving answering questions mm -mm -mm. does that make sense do you, does it need never mind let's just look at the question ready which of the following activities must be performed by a principal i don't know what principles are in the investment world yeah but we know what they are in school yeah they're the ones that uh right they bring the heat man they, they make the decisions. Right. We we know what a principal guys, we know what a principal is. Well, some people didn't go to the principal's offices like I did. I didn't go to the principal's office. Um, performing. Yes. There you go. Must be performed. Okay. Now look at your INGs. There you go. She got it. There you go. Yes. I, she wasn't the only one that got it, but yes, guys. Reviewing and approving. 
Guys, I mean, B is like, do they determine the customer's investment suitability? No, the customer decides that really, honestly, right? No. Are there answers? No. No? no, I would think so. All of those are done by reps. All right, well, reviewing and approving. Yes. All right, let's just go. Yes. I was going to go into my vibes about it, but we'll just be quiet. Oh, I should read though. Market risk, sales risk, non-systematic risk, systematic risk. A and B are opposites. Mm -mm. D is the whole thing. Mm -mm -mm. Sales risk. Is that like when they don't buy? I don't even. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know. There's no one buying. It's the risk of no one. Mm -mm. Let's go with the question. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The personal data assistant maker, Hands On, Inc., spent considerable resources developing a new product that used a unique user interface. Unfortunately, the interface proved a failure and was quickly surpassed by a competitor system. The firm's stock fell as a result. This is an example of mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm going to say that it's not systematic but that's just me because it's just one company it's not the whole thing right and sales risk means nothing we don't even know what sales risk is we don't even know if they sold them Yeah. we don't know if they did anything it looks like they didn't even make it there. Yeah. Hands-on made a bad decision. That's not a, the whole thing. No, it's not the whole market is crashing because hands-on failed. Right. Thank goodness. Can you imagine? That'd be a disaster. We couldn't get ahead. D, a sell limit order. C, a sell stop order. B, a market order. A, a sell stop limit order. I don't know why I didn't realize this, but did you know that I can't uh, get that cottage cheese is not a cheese? Hmm? It's just occurred to me. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I appreciate that, though. Dad jokes. Right? Yeah. If A and D are similar. C and D are similar. C and D are similar for the same reason. We got to go with a double dip. D is the double dip. Right. D is the double dip. That has think. to be the answer. Let's 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 see if we can find. Can we just click it? Okay. Yay. Let's do the question now. Let's look for the keywords in the question. I'm like, this was a great question. Your client, Mary Quinn, wants to place an order to sell stock in her portfolio when the current price is 45, but when she is only willing to sell it, sell if she can sell for at least 47, which order should she place? Guys, isn't this awesome to get it right with the technique? Because some of y'all are looking at this and you're like, I don't know about them options. I don't know about sales. I don't know about nothing limits. What? I can't put it all together. Guys, it happens in the test, does it not? Does it not? So the key words were at least 47, which is the limit, right? Yep. That's it. But we got it. Key words. Yep. That's what we're trying to show you. Not just cheesy dad jokes, but only Eric. Eric and I were uh, on the same page on that one. All right, buy XYZ to open, sell XYZ to open, a buy XYZ to close, a sell XY to close. Buy XYZ to close and buy XYZ to open. Yes, yes. So we got buy and sell. Mm -hmm. Which one will it be? Uh, which one do you open? We open with a buy. Do you open first or close first? Well, I always open the door first. So this is a first, and this would be end or second, right? 
because of the clothes in the open. That was a solid follow-up, Eric. Wow. Blaine Smith has owned XYZ stock for several years and believes it is time to take his profit and invest the ma that money in another stock. He should. He should. I would say so. Okay. Because it says first, right? Isn't it? No. no. Why did I think that? Well, take his profit would be to sell. Oh, there you go. You got to sell it to get a profit, right? Yeah. That I do know. Uh-huh. And then you got to end it. Why do you got to end it, though? Well, because you're going to go take that money and go put it somewhere else. Where does it say that? Isn't it? I don't know. Where does it say that? It says invest that money in another stock. Yeah, but we can do a short sell. Oh, okay. I don't know then. I tried, guys. I know. No, guys, there's a very key word in the question. That's why we play this is. game. That's why we play the game. Yeah, because you guys can't assume that it's sell to close. You can't because Kaplan has a question very similar to this. That has says, owned. Thank you. Guys, has, has owned. owned. That's the first. Has owned is the first. So he's owned it. So now he wants to take his profit. And then he's going to take his profit. So I would have gone with A. You guys see that? What's am I wrong? No, you're you're right. But this I was is looking at A the whole time. This is the thing, guys. This is I've been doing this for a number of years. And I know that everybody would see this question and pick sell to close. I know everybody sees a question like this and pick sell to close because how do you sell to open first? And that's where Kaplan gets you. That's where the questions get you because you weren't paying attention to the words on the screen. Instead, you were just assuming that you can only sell second and buy first. But if you've been studying, you know that's not true. All right. Great explanation, Brandy. Thank you. It's like you've done this before. Kinda. All right, they may contribute up to maximum and annual down. Uh, why can't I read? They may contribute up to the maximum annual allowable dollar limit split evenly between both accounts, they may each contribute 100% of earned income or maximum annual allowable dollar limit, whichever is less. Only the higher wage earner may contribute to the IRA. A, they may not contribute because their combined income is too high. I know A is true. Isn't it? Depends on what we're talking about. I don't know. Because I'm forcing the content, huh? You're forcing the content, but... I need to know the whole thing. Yeah. C and D are similar, right? Yes, they are. I'll answer for you. They weren't. Right? They're, well, they're muted. Right? They may contribute... Oops. Whoops. They may contribute maximum allowable dollar amount, right? Whatever is less. And we see that 100%. And then they're just split evenly. Right? We see it because of the 100. If a 40-year-old customer earns $85,000 a year and his 38-year-old spouse earns $140,000 a year, how much may they contribute to an individual retirement account's IRAs? That's why I see B, and I'm like, bro. Yeah, that's, that. no. That's messed up. Well, you know. What about D? Now that you see what the question is, isn't D messed up too? Why are, you, why are we splitting it evenly? It's individual. That's messed up. Right? Mm-hmm. And then... We can go with the answer that had the number versus income too high. But we can go with the one that had the number, right? I think so. Did everybody get it? Individual, not combined. Well, look, now this is where content comes in. We didn't even have to deal with A because we're not talking about a Roth IRA. 
because that is combined income if they file joint. See, but that's not where, but look, that's adding to the question, right? Right. So you guys got to look at it that way. You guys got to say, okay, maybe A would have been correct if the question said Roth, but now we're getting into a Thursday session, not a Monday session. But if it's not there, don't answer that question. Wait, if it's not there on the screen, that's not what you're answering. Boom. Yeah, you got to keep it, be present in the question. Yeah, keep it to what you all see on the screen. D, stagflat. D, stagflation. C, stagnation. B, disinflation. A, inflation. Individual, not combined. C and D start stag. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We got two people that said they never heard of B. Then you guys were not on the You were not on the study. Yeah, you were not on the study. Not on the study. Burn. Uh, talk about it. Yes, it is. Let me That's okay. Mm -hmm. All is forgiven. Yeah. Um. Inflation, disinflation, uh, opposite. Mm. Slightly. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put slightly opposite. And then, yeah. Anyways, sorry. Slightly opposite. Slightly. It's apples and donuts, man. Apples and donuts. Um. All right. Question. Yeah. The nation is experiencing a rapid increase in the cost of living, <sighs> but wages are not keeping pace with the increase in cost. This nation is experiencing. Bum bum bum. Well, it's not stag. Right, we're 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 going places we might might not want. Um. Yes. Yeah. So we're going up. In life. In living. But we have no money. Yeah, guys. But 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 but. We're not keeping pace with inflation. Isn't that weird? How are we not keeping pace with I'm going to say it goes with that weird word that everybody yes. was stuck on. Look, that butt says this is weird. That butt says it's weird. That's weird. Stagflation. You're literally going nowhere. Your, price, your, your wages are going nowhere, but yet their cost but, of living is going up. How yeah. is that possible? It's weird. It's a weird situation. Weird situation for a weird word. That's a scary place to be. So, so like, guys, the way we teach it, if you see but, however, unusual, combined with, that is usually stagflation. Eric says he saw cheese in the trash can. It was debris. Yes. Now, let me just say this because this is a test topic. So I do feel like I need to just say what disinflation is real quick. Yeah, let's do it. Because I got the time. And Why I, and, not? And, I, and guys, this is a test topic. Let's do it. So inflation, right? Blowing it up. Going up. Price is going up. Now, never mind. Hold on. Deflation. Going down. Is price is going down. In the negative, this is a positive. Inflation is is two percent. That's good. We want that, right? Inflation is that prices increase nine percent. That's bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Deflation is not that it went down. Deflation is that it's straight up negative two percent. Guys, we've only seen deflation twice in the U.S. history. Let me let me say that again. We have only seen deflation twice in U.S. history. One of those times, the Great Depression. Yeah, that was a downward spiral. This is the this is the depression. So you don't want your prices going negative because if your prices are going negative, that means people do not are not spending money. If they're not spending money, it means they don't 
have money, right? Wasn't the other time like the Reagan era or right before the 70s? It was the 70s during the oil the oil embargo, thing, right? So what happened in from 2022 to 2024, right? We wanted to lower inflation. We wanted to go from two percent. I mean, we wanted to go from that nine percent. We wanted to take it down to four percent. But you guys see how that's still a positive number. That's not a negative number. It's a positive number. So we're just trying to lower inflation. That's called disinflation. Where we're still trying to keep that inflation. We're still trying to keep the growth. We're just trying to slow down the growth. That we're not trying to deflate the balloon. We're just trying to make it smaller. I want to say that's what we're kind of doing right now. That is that in is our economy. Literally what we're doing right now. This is what our economy is literally trying to do right now. Yes. And guys, I just want you guys to know. It's not easy. It's not an easy trick to do. I found this term in a news article and talked about it about, I don't know. I say it was two weeks ago, but it's probably longer than that. I don't know. Time flies. Time flies. It was a while ago that I, that I, I talked about it because I thought it was interesting because we're so gung-ho about deflation because we think that that's good, but it's not, right? So I saw this article. We talked about disinflation. Later, I found out that this word is popping up on tests. Just saying. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Studying brew. That's right. Episode 908. 908. Boom. 908. We are, we are 92 away, edge. 92 away from being a thousand episodes, a thousand episodes. Can you imagine? Anyways, we are leading indicators. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for being here. That was the key words. We had a lot of fun. I hope you did too, but make sure to get your studying in, be consistent, get with it. You don't want to have a disinflating air at time for your uh, studies. Wow. <laughs> All I'm saying is you want to make sure you're going forward and up. So Thank you all for being here. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you guys so much for being on. We super appreciate you guys. Practice the Kona catchphrase in your quizzes. I promise you it'll make studying a lot funner. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one.